Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. Welcome, loves. The last week in December. Weekly energy, loves. Weekly vibes. Weekly reading. Sun, moon, rising signs, and Venus. This week, loves, starts with a new moon in Capricorn. As you know, Pudo's manifestation is exactly or meant for work, for career, and not only whatever you feel that you want to work in your life or to be in a better, you know, statement. As well, yes, <coughs> excuse me, the moon moving from your zodiac sign to Capricorn leave you kind of with that feeling that, well, everything comes and go for a reason. For some of you Sagis, know that Mercury retrograde might bring certain things that you might expect, might do not. Mercury retrograde starts on December 29th. Yes, it's at the end of the month, but holding their loves for whatever you do and how you do, whatever you plan. You know, some of you might want to spend the new year somewhere, plan ahead and plan closely or probably you need to go a few days for example if you are planning some travel don't do it exactly on the 29th or 30 but do it on the after the christmas or something like that and yes it's a christmas week for many many of you happy christmas let's see loves what we have for this week how this week goes and what else is there and I want to say thank you for a beautiful energy brought all this year here. Thank you. Seven of Wands, right underneath the Emperor. And Seven of Swords. And Ace of Wands. For some of you, you need to... You see here, the Emperor is in between Seven of Wands and Seven of Swords. Many of you, it's kind of like, not prove your point, but what is your point in doing what you do? Because I feel here there's something here with these two sevens between and the emperor here. It's like, it is a noble situation out there that you need to fight on, or there's something here that really that works for you. So what's the reason you want to go ahead with something or you want to do something and also for some of you don't believe everything that's come to you whoever comes to you that they are all there for you so it's kind of like don't put all your eggs in one basket because sometimes, and always actually, people are changing. For some of you, you, you kind of like knew one person, but comes out that person have two faces. So be very careful, loves. Because very soon you will find out. Hierophant, look at this. Magician. Wheel of Fortune, three majors. Goodness, what's happening, loves? Nine of Pentacles and five of Wands. So there is something here coming up, you loves. And whatever you manifested, whatever you want to do, will, uh, will bring something probably you you don't want to or probably they don't want to because many times five of wands brings opinions other people so let's see the five of wands we have a tower so there's something here coming like it's kind of like where did all this coming out of nowhere Queen of Swords. So somebody here might say certain things, 
but it's more likely to spike your reaction or bring a reaction, justice. So it seems here someone here wants to bring, you know, that fair share, but might not be quite like. So Scorpio, Libra, or this person have Scorpio, Libra in the chart. For some of you, be, be very careful what you say, whom you say certain things. Because it might not bring you what you were looking, actually. Okay. The Seven of Wands clarifier we have three of Pentacles. And the Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords. So there's something here you you might not clearly see or feel. But also what smells right now, somebody here might, might feel like I'm the one to blame, I'm the one to do this and that, but it's not quite. So it's a it's an energy here that Whatever comes, Sag, you gotta just be very careful who you are encountering this week or who you come in in some kind of connection, either communication wise, either, you know, love wise, even, you know, family wise. Because indeed here, there's something here coming and somebody kind of like, instead of bringing something, want to take. One more card for the Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Five of Cups. So whatever it is here with the Five of Cups... doesn't bring Ten of Swords, Ten of Cups. So someone here wants to, to get something from you. But it's more likely will be good for them, not for you. So that's why the emperor here is whatever you do, stick with your thoughts or with the things you, you've been working till now. Because somebody here might be a player. And I'll give you an example. Sometimes you, like there's a Sag here who could let go someone from their life and you kind of stick with yourself and with the reasons with the things and done your work and put the work whatever and that person doesn't really know what else they can do so they could come as a victim and crying a river there and ten of swords they feel like i don't know what else to do and things like that but the fact is whatever you know you know i will call this like a you know game or theatrical or like you you go and play a role whatever pl play a role they they try is because they they want you know you around them because you always brought them something you always brought them that good energy so indeed here play play attention here Whew. yeah it's it seems here this person could weigh their time or a right time
because it could, could pass a lot of time. We have two of swords, eight of pentacles. Strength. And indeed here, this person they need to go through certain things to understand what you are built for. The Emperor, Three of Wands, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups. And the Hermit. For <clears throat> many, many of you Sages, if you distant yourself from someone, you probably had a new beginning somewhere else. Probably not too many know about it. But it seems it's quite, quite something good. So there's a mystery energy out there. So expect here certain things that might surprise you this week, absolutely. But at the same time, love's holding tight. Also, I see you a little confused. Why? As well, look at this, Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups is missing. And Seven of Cups speaks to each and every one that I am a little confused. Or somebody here got confused. Or somebody been confused and now is not confused. But also, I see here a Sag who seen the opportunities out there and somebody here might want to take some of them so be very careful loves Let's see the, the advice. My um, my silence sometimes know that brings certain messages that comes and go. So when I am keeping my silence is because the, the messages are coming through and some of them are quite sporadic. Let's see the best advice for this week four of cups queen of cups ace of swords ace of wands king of cups and here is the seven of cups five of pentacles eight of cups and king of swords and underneath we have the Knight of Wands. So look at this, loves. Whoever comes here definitely feels left out. For some of you, you know, the confusion is why, why someone here comes along when clearly we know where we are or where I am. Because I feel here for some of you, you walked away from someone because they left you or they they left you quite bitter. And that's the, the big confusion for many, many of you. Look at this, Five of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Hangman, and the Death. So definitely here something changed 
but I feel here because my sag is you changed. Somebody here has seen that in you. But again, Five of Swords and Seven of Swords doesn't really look great. To have for who I'm speaking here. As well, let's see, loves. We also have here the Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Five of Wands. So that's the whole package of the fives. And the five speaks of change. Many, many sages, you manifested change in your life and that's coming. And probably someone here might not be quite comfortable with whatever change you choose to go with or in which way to choose to go with it. And the advice from the oracles, we do have surrender to the divine, the full moon. And underneath, we have a time for healing, balsamic moon. So, Sag, you, whatever changes you do, it's more likely to work out for you. And it's not like a people-pleasing energy here. Because some Sages, now they understand where they need to go and how to. and with what they need to start in the first place. Have faith in your dreams and a personal issue reaches resolution. So whatever that is, I feel here you needed to do something a little out of ordinary or whatever works for you, not for them, so you can see the change you are looking for. Balance spirituality and practicality. So the balance to come to you in the first place. So yeah, loves, that's quite a week for many, many of you. And that being said, loves, have a happy new year, have a great week, happy Christmas, and We'll see you next time. Namaste.